Welcome to Niraja Polytechnic. I am Sima Rao, part of General Science Department, subject Engineering Mathematics 1. So, chapter number is 3. Chapter name is Two Dimensional Coordinate Geometry. So, today we will discuss about external division formula or you can say that external section formula. The coordinates of the point R, R B any point random point which is out of a b line means a point and b point is given a b line segment out of a b line segment that is external point so coordinate of the point r x y is the coordinate we don't know what is the coordinate of x, uh, r so we just write down x y randomly which divides the line segment join a point is x1 y1 b point is x2 y2 externally in ratio a r is to b r equals to m is to Let's see your A point, your B point and R is the external point from A B line. So here R is the here, let it be X, Y. We don't know what is the coordinate of X and Y. R coordinate and uh, what are given here, A R is to B R equals to M is to M. That means A R is to B R equals to M is to M. So let, let's see what is the R coordinates. So X coordinate must be these are similar to internal section formula or div uh, internal division formula. Only thing is that they are in internal section formula. There is addition and here subtraction. Mx2 minus Nx1 by M minus N. This is the X coordinate. My2 minus Ny1 by M minus N. This is the Y coordinate. So this is the coordinate of the external point which is divided a b line segment externally into m is to n ratio x coordinate is m x 2 minus n x 1 by m minus n y coordinate is m y 2 minus n y 1 by m minus n so let's see for example find the coordinates of the point which divide externally the line joining 1 minus 3 minus 3 9 in the ratio 1 is to 3 Let's see A point is 1 minus 3, B point is minus 3, 9 and R is the another point which is external point which is divided A, B line into divided by externally into 1 is to 3 ratio. That means M is to M is 1 and N is 3. So here let A point is 1 minus 3, B point is minus 3, 9 be the two points and let R be the external point which divide the line segment AB. That means R coordinate related to be XY. So we know that what is the external section formula or external division formula. X coordinate must be MX2 minus a NX1 by M minus N. That means M is 1, X2 is minus 3 minus N is 3. X2, X2 is, NX1 is 1 by M minus N means 1 minus 3. What do we get now? Minus 6 by minus 2, that means 3. And another coordinate is y coordinate. 1 mx2 n m y2 minus n y1 by m minus n. That means m is 1 here, y2 is 9 minus n is 3, y1 is minus 3 by 1 minus 3 means m, mi m minus n. What do we get now? 18 by minus 2, that means minus 9. So that means the coordinates of the external point is 3 minus 9. R point coordinate is 3 minus 9. Let's see. Area of a triangle. So let's see here a triangle is there. Two dimensional triangle. A is a point x1 y1. B is a point x2 y2. C is a point x3 y3. And how to find out area of a triangle. So what is the formula? Half into x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 x3 y1 minus y2 square units because this is area so we should find write down square units meter square centimeter square kilometer square whatever the units so this is a square units and we can find out this formula also in determinate format how to find out this is very easy format half determinate of x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 square units so we can find out in this formula also area of a triangle like this notice that area cannot be negative value 
सिमिलर टू डिस्टेंस नेवर बी नेगेटिव वैल्यू इन दिस वे एरिया कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव वैल्यू एरिया ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज जीरो स्क्वायर यूनिट एंड द वर्टिसेस ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल आर कोलिनियर इफ द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज जीरो स्क्वायर यूनिट इफ द एरिया वी फाइंड आउट जीरो दैट मींस द वर्टिसेस द थ्री वर्टिसेस ऑफ द ट्रायंगल मस्ट बी ऑन ए वन लाइन दैट मींस लाइज ऑन ए लाइन कोलिनियर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कोलिनियर इफ यू प्रूव दैट द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज जीरो then that means what vertices the three vertices of the triangle must be collinear collinear means lies on a one line for example if the area of a triangle with vertices 0 0 1 0 0 a is 10 square units find the value of a so a point is given x1 y1 is given x1 is 0 y1 is 0 d point is given that means b vertex is given that means x2 is 1 and y2 is 0 and c point is given that means c vertex is given of the triangle so x3 is 0 and y3 is a are the points of the triangle abc given area of triangle abc equals to 10 square units so what is the formula we know that the first formula we just find out half x1 y2 minus y3 y2 is 0 y3 is a plus x2 y3 minus y1 y3 is a minus y1 is 0 plus x3 y1 minus y2 y1 is 0 y2 is 0 equals to 10 square units so we just find out 10 value so what do we get now this value is a a by 2 equals to 10 that means a equals to 20 to it multiply with 10 what we get 20 that means the value of a is 20 let's centered of a triangle centered of a triangle abc what is the central formula you just see that this figure A point, B point, C point is given of a triangle. Then, yes, what do you mean central? We just first of all find out midpoint of the three sides: A B side midpoint, B C side midpoint, and A C side midpoint. Then we just join midpoint with the opposite vertex. So, what do we get? This is called as median. This they are called as median. This is also a median. The three medians is there in a triangle. Three medians is there. If three medians touching or intersecting at one point, this is called as concurrent point. This is called as centroid. This point is called as centroid. And every median divided by the centroid by two is to one ratio. Every median, every median divided by the centroid with two is to one ratio. So let's see what should be the centroid coordinate. X coordinate is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, and y coordinate is y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Let's see. Example: Find the center of a triangle with vertex 1, 4, 3, 1, 1, 2. There are three vertexes given. X1 is 1, x y1 is 4, x2 is 3, y1 is 1, x3 is 1, y1 y3 is 2. So three vertices of triangle ABC. Center of ABC. What do we get? X1 plus X2 plus X3 by 3. Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 by 3. We just put down. Who is X1? One. Who is X2? Three. Who is uh, uh, X3? One. Just put down. And who is Y1? Four. Who is Y2? One. Who is Y3? Two by three. What do we get? Five by three. Seven by three. So what should be the center coordinate? Five by three. 7 by 3. X coordinate is 5 by 3, and this is y coordinate is 7 by 3. So next video we talk about the slope of a line. So have a good day. Thank you.